Hello! Welcome to Matters of Decorum. I'm Scott Corum. This is what matters to me. Uh, going to respond to another comment today because it's very timely. Uh, this is the first episode in December for 2023, so this one seemed to actually fit pretty well. Uh, from Viewer Dynamic Defense, thank you very much for your comment. No okay, case, Scott. It's that joyous time of year for gifts giving, and we viewers need you to help us D&D players figure out gifts for our table. Would you be willing to provide an Uncle Drax top five gift for new and or advanced D&D gamers? Going to do something a little bit different, but, uh, but that's a really, really good idea. When you're talking about tabletop gamers, uh, there is a, a temptation. Our hobby is book driven. Uh, you you got to buy the books to play the games. Got to get your three core books for D&D 5 or a couple of core books for GURPS. And that's not a bad thing to get. Of course, once you've got those supplements to get, and it's not a bad idea to get some kind of a book. Uh, what I like to do is I go to Drive -through RPG, uh, drivethroughrpg.com. Uh, where I sell some of my books, by the way, uh, and have a look at something that's not not mainstream. A lot of indie creators there, uh, and uh, there, there might be something that sparks an interest, but that's got to be kind of an individual thing. Uh, not every gamer is going to be into every book. Your forever DM is not going to be that interested in seeing something with a lot of player options. Likewise, your, your folks who are just more interested in playing aren't going to be that interested in information that's strictly for Game Masters. Uh, if you really, really know the people at your table, if you really know the people that you want to buy gifts for, then yeah, the books are a really good call. Uh, but they've got to be meaningful. Pretty much everyone at the table is already going to have the core books. If they don't, great gift, automatic, boom, let's get, a core, let's get the core books. Can be a little pricey in some cases, but was, everyone's going to want to have a copy of the core books for whatever system you guys are playing in. But books are hard because they have to be, you have to make sure that there's an interest there. You have to make sure that you're in the genre that they're looking for, that it's the kind of product that they need, that it's going to be really useful to them. So rather than get books, uh, or or supplements or what have you, which again, if you know your people really well, give them the supplements, maps, whatever. Uh, but there's also stuff that happens around the books, and that's probably a better place to focus for gifts. Um, there's some things you do at the table. You roll dice, you write down results, you eat, you drink, you laugh. Rolling dice. Dice is always, always a good gamer gift. You cannot go wrong with dice. And that's some dice you happen to find at the local friendly gaming store or you find a nice package of them online. Um, or you find someone who does dice online. There's a huge cottage industry in, uh, in home dice production. Uh, or, or people who are putting together their own dice companies. The layer action happens to be working on a line of dice. Uh, maybe next Christmas you might look in that area. But for now, look online. See if you find something that uh, that appeals. Uh, all different colors and styles of dice. Uh, different shapes. Different techniques for, for making them. Or for rolling different types of dice. Dice that look like potion bottles or daggers what have you. Uh, really fun stuff if you if you just look through a whole bunch of dice online, see the one that 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 belong, you know John would like those Susan would really get some use out of those because those those are the colors of her character that's the same kind of weapon that John's character uses. Dice can be a a, a little bit easier to individualize than books yeah you, you can just get those associations with the colors and the shapes and and gamers always always need dice. I have damn near 100 pounds of dice in this office. I will always be grateful to get dice. I will always be happy to have them, to use them, uh, and to add them to the collection, because 
I'm addicted and I can't stop. Not uncommon for, for a lot of gamers. Uh, writing things down. Uh, a nice pen or a pencil set. A box of cheap mechanical pencils for the guy who never has a pencil. If the first phrase you associate with a gamer at that table is, does anybody have a pencil? Because there's always that guy or those people, because that's pretty common. You're running out to the game. What's the last thing you're going to bring? Well, probably not going to bring a giant box of pencils. It doesn't have to be expensive. The, the cheap stuff from Staples. Something that's always there. And if that's a gift that you give them so that they've got pencils, or more to the point, once a year, just buy a big bulk package of mechanical pencils from Staples and have it there where you guys game. Boom. Boom. That's that's a gift that keeps on giving because you're going to go through them because people are going to use them. And that's awesome. Thank you. I'm glad we had the pencils. Get tucked into their books so they can bring it next time. They do not bring it next time, but there's another pencil. That'd be good. Or if it's someone who's a little bit more reasonable with their writing implements, a nice mechanical pencil, uh, a nice pen set, maybe a little stationery, um, a, a little spiral bound notebook for, just for keeping notes or keeping track of uh, uh, hit points and stuff like that. Uh, just a, a little something that's a thoughtful use of that. You can go fancy with those. Again, independent creators doing crafts online, you can find the nice leather bound scroll cases that have uh, that for, for lining up your pens and pencils uh, or a, a, a journal in a nice leather cover that's uh, got the fancy clasps on it. Looks like a spell book. Great place to keep character notes. Uh, and you can go from as, as cheap to as fancy as you want to with that. Uh, uh, and a lot of that stuff also individual styles and different colors and well, what, what matches the player that you know? Or the game, game masters will always need writing implements. They'll always need stuff to write on. And maybe if you've got one of those game masters who's very much like me, who does not take notes well, maybe a nice piece of stationery to take notes on would be the best hint you could give them for the holidays. Uh, okay, so there's dice, there's writing implements. Drinks. Drinks, food, uh, a nice mug to have at the table, uh, a, a tankard, uh, a stein, a mug, something fanciful. Again, people doing amazing stuff online. Uh, I, I'm really going to push the, uh, the, the, the home artisans at the moment, people who are making a living or trying to make a living at making craft uh, craft works uh, there's if you're on reddit there is a uh, reddit community that's uh, r d and d i y there's just the letters d n d i y uh, that has people doing all kinds of craft work and stuff and some of those are these amazing monster themed mugs that are just i i wouldn't mind having one of those i wouldn't mind having a number of them they're really really awesome to look at uh, it kind of makes me want to get back into sculpture myself which I need to do. Um, but yeah, that uh, that neat, nifty something to have at the table, wrap your hand around the handle and take a chug every so often. Um, and again, so many styles, so many varieties that you can spend an afternoon looking online and see some that just remind you of the players or their favorite characters uh, or th there's, there's nothing a dungeon master wouldn't love. I've got, I've got a Stein. It's on the shelves that are actually behind me rather than my virtual shelves. Uh, that is just, it's covered with Frank Frazetta art. I love it. It's nice to have on a table while I'm game mastering. Uh, I don't, uh, I, I would have to do it much more at home, but still, um, Something nice to drink out of. Um, snacks. If you've got a favorite snack that you think someone else would like, maybe 
bag of those, a uh, bag of this uh, chips or nori or uh, or a particular cookie that you like. Again, uh, I, you know, my family and I spent uh, most of Saturday at a harvest festival in Pomona, and there's food there you're not going to find any place else. Uh, really amazing cookies or fanciful fudge or uh, little snacky things and stuff like that. Thoughtful gifts that, uh, well, this guy really likes chocolate chip cookies. Well, how about some brown butter shortbread chocolate chip cookies? Oh, those those were amazing, by the way. Um, something a little special. Uh, or, you know, you, you, you go to Trader Joe's and you see, man, he really likes stuff like that. And that looks like a really good version of it. I'll just a bag. That doesn't be anything super fancy. It just uh, something that that made you think of him. I guess rather than provide a straight up list of gifts I would give people, just a gift giving philosophy for the gaming table for the season. It doesn't have to be expensive. If you're of means and you feel like giving expensive gifts, sure, go for it, but it doesn't have to be. They, they they say it's the thought that counts, and that really matters here. That you thought enough to bring gifts. That you thought enough to, to you know, I, I I love playing with you. This, this is this is a, my family away from my family. Here, have us something. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, whatever they uh they choose to celebrate. It's a season for giving gifts, and it only ever has to be that. You appreciate them. You want to have them. You want them to have something, something that fits them. Look at your options until you see something that says that person. You know, I, I, or something that means enough to you that it will mean something to everyone else. I really, I found a set of dice I really like. I got, I got a set for everybody. Um, they, they, they're easy to read and they're, they, they roll nice. I really like the colors. Uh, here, have some dice. Merry Christmas. I really enjoyed this snack. I thought you guys would share it with, would enjoy it with me too. Um, I've got folks in my gaming groups uh, who are big fans of beer or cheese. And, you know, uh, uh, we get together and there's a charcuterie board. And that's lovely. That's, that's, that's a gift. That even if we're sure everyone there is sharing it, including the person who's bringing it, Breaking bread with my friends at the gaming table is a gift. Uh, whatever strikes you as meaningful to them, to you, to both of you. Something that you took a little time to find. An internet search. You, know, you don't have to go out to the Black Friday sales and, and, uh, and risk your life getting stompled. Hasn't happened for a couple of years in a row now. That's actually kind of nice. Still, you don't got to go to the mall. Online's fine. Uh, again, I, I, I find a couple of sources on Reddit that I like. Maybe you're into 3D printing and you find a, 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 some, a figure or something that you think people would like. Or Hero Forge. Uh, HeroForge.com. Another place online where you can get custom miniatures. And maybe you pick up people's custom miniatures. Uh, they can be a little pricey to have printed and good materials, but you can also, if any of your friends are into 3D printing or you're into it yourself, you can go to Hero Forge, make your character, download the STL for a discount, and print it yourself. Uh, maybe paint them. Uh, what are you into? What makes you happy? Would you give the blank figures to to uh, a friend of yours and maybe a set of paints? Or you know they already paint and the, the figure would just be meaningful. Stay away from books for the most part because it's kind of hard to pair that book up with the right, right person to have it. And you, know, you don't want to buy everyone at the table the same book because people want to have a few surprises out of the book that they're using. So I'd stay away from books, dice, stationery, drinking implements, snacks. Uh, that's really about all I could think of. It's, uh, there, there are some wonderful, there's a few wonderful shops out there where you might find something just browsing, but hop online, look around, see what, uh, 
what gives you neuron activation when you think about one of your friends and you see that thing and yeah, yeah, think you'd be happy seeing the two of those put together. Yeah, I think that'd about do it. That, uh, it might not be a definitive gift giving guide, but I'm not that definitive a kind of person these days. So, yeah, yeah. Get them something that they can use at the table. Give them something that makes the time that you have with them meaningful. Give them something that uh, says you appreciate what they do at the table and who they are all the time. And have a happy and wonderful holiday. Well, I hope this has answered the question, Dynamic Defense. Thank you very much for your comment, and I look forward to having more in the future. In the meantime, thank you very much for following me along on this particularly festive ramble. I'm Scott Coram. This is what has mattered to me. I'll see you next time in the next Matters of Decorum. And now, over to Uncle Drac for the outro. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, give it a thumbs down. Feedback is feedback. If there's any other topics you would like to hear Scott talk about, uh, questions you'd like him to answer, subjects you'd like to him to cover, please leave a comment down below. He will love getting your comment, and you will love leaving him one. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, why not? This channel is awesome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you do, you might also want to hit the little notification bell so you're alerted when these videos become available. If you would like to support this channel in a more substantial manner, we invite you to hit us up at the Patreon page, www.patreon.com slash scottcorum, and consider donating. Absolutely anything helps, and allows us to create better content more often. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.